it's Claire here and uh, we're live. I was just thinking it's a bit dark tonight uh, in here. It looks uh, a little bit, uh, there's not enough light, but hopefully you can see me and you can uh, join me or join me later on or join me now. You know, it'd be lovely to speak to you tonight. And tonight business buzz um, is about franchising. Yes, because I've just come back from two franchise exhibition, not one, but two franchise exhibition. I was at the Excel um, exhibition um, on Friday in London and then I went up to Birmingham and then I was at the Birmingham exhibition at the NEC. Uh, both just quite incredible um, exhibitions and it was um, it was very um, you get that feeling you know you get such a buzz from it because you see all those people who are franchising you see people who are got an idea and a business and actually created something that they can sell to somebody else and they can actually work with somebody else they can give them the tools for them to start developing their own business um, and it, it, it was quite incredible the range of businesses from whether it was fitness to uh, kids entertainment knife um knife um cuttings all sort of you know different businesses um and so it was really good just to walk around and talk to people and see how they're doing with their business and their franchise getting some ideas of you know the the locations and that kind of thing so tonight it's about you know your business what are you doing what do you do in your business and how can you grow your business and sometimes you know the uh, the different options to to grow your business looking at new markets you know maybe it takes a lot of money to actually open a branch um, into a new region you know you're not too sure how to do it um, so look at possibly you know what you've got and how you you could possibly um, set up your business as a franchise because you know if your business is transferable if you can put your brain on a piece of paper and then have somebody else doing it, this is, you know, an, an amazing way to do it. So, you know, there's things that obviously there's quite a lot of things that you would need to prepare. You need to make sure that your business can be done by somebody else. It's not just you, but it, it can be done. You know, you can train somebody else to do it. And then you've got that that kind of yeah that that operating guidelines that you need to create. So every single step of what you're doing at the moment, you need to be able to put it into a, a, an operating guideline for somebody else to do it. So it takes quite a lot of time. It takes quite a lot of energy, but it's it's a really good way to also reevaluate your business and where you are at and how you're doing things because then you're looking at your operating guidelines and how you're doing things your journey and all the touch point that you're creating and it gives you a really really good idea of how you're delivering customer service how you servicing your clients how you're training your employees and it's uh, um, looking at those areas will really help you to 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 see if your business can be um can be franchised so sometimes it's just a tiny little idea in the back of your mind but it can become something quite big and something quite amazing, which is, you know, a little bit what happened with me uh, and my franchise with my little idea to franchise my business. And then, you know, now, um, yes, this is it, you know, franchising and we've got Mumbai coming and we've had, you know, some new calls and emails from people interested in the UK and uh, possibly Kenya. We've got some Ca Casablanca. So... When you're looking at developing your business, where is it? What are the locations that you're looking at? So, you know, would it be just the UK that you're looking at, you know, franchising? How do you want to determine your territories? Is that going to be by cities? Is that going to be by number of people? Uh, look at that, those kind of things as well. How are you determining your locations for each of your, your franchisees? So I've been looking at doing... Um, my kind of targeted countries and actually looking at some of the countries was quite um, amazing to look at a lot of the commonwealth countries so I'm thinking oh this there could be a pattern then there could be something where we could really help 
you know, some of the Commonwealth countries uh, delivering exceptional customer service and, you know, having some franchises in those countries could be amazing. And also, bien sûr, because I'm French, you know, any French countries that we could be helping and we could be doing, you know, so I'm off to a, another franchise exhibition in um, in April in, in Casablanca in Morocco, which is really amazing and just can't wait to go. Um, and this is going to be a great opportunity to, you know, promote the, the business and the franchise. But it also means that, you know, I could have somebody out there um, helping local businesses in Casablanca delivering exceptional customer service. That would just be amazing. So if you're looking at, you know, you're setting up your business, where are the areas that you'd like to develop? How many would you like to develop? You know, look at your business plan and you look at your um, your financial projection as well. How is it going to look like? So when you're looking at setting up, you're probably looking at a setup cost which will go towards setting up the franchisee. So you're not making necessarily any money on the setup cost. But you will it's it's really to set up the franchisee and then there's a royalty so then you will charge a loyalty on usually the turnover and this is when you start you know having making your profit because then the more profitable your franchisee is the more profitable you'll become as well so you know this is really important you're working with your franchisee to make a success for them and with them you know in their countries so the more guidance, the more, you know, opening doors, knocking at different um, areas. So your franchisee becoming you in their little countries and helping them, their businesses, um, developing their businesses through you, which means that you're giving them some amazing tools. You're giving them the tools to not only start up a business without setting up from start, from scratch. So you're giving them a proven model of what you're doing but you're also giving them that consistency in customer service you know so for your for their customers they will know that you know they're following the brand they're following you know the steps so they're going to be delivering a great customer service for the employees you know you'll be giving them training you'll be supporting them you'll be going giving them coaching so in terms of the employees working for the franchisee they know that also they're going to give that they're going to be getting loads of support and lots of um, that amazing um, guidance and support that a franchisor should be given. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. You know, if you're thinking about growing your business, if you're thinking about how could I, what could I do to actually um make them a mini me in different possibly countries or in your own country but you know in different locations this is a really really good way to to do so google franchise um franchising um go on the british franchise association um you could go on the french franchise association you can go you know to this association in in all the countries now about franchise so they really will take you through all the different steps and the legality behind it because it's a very, very legal, you know, you've got to be making that very, very legal. And, you know, it is a partnership. It's like getting married. You're signing a contract, you know, and it's maybe for five years or 10 years. So you need to make sure it's the right thing for you. Um, and you need to make sure you're finding the right franchisee for you because, you know, if it doesn't go right well you know this is when it can go wrong really but if you're really really sure this is how you want to do and this is the right person who could actually take what you do and do the same thing in their own location franchising is a really fantastic opportunity to grow your business and to give consistency in what you do so a little bit like you know, with the mystery shopping and the customer experience franchise opportunity that I'm offering is not just about giving the opportunity to somebody else to do what I do but in a bigger bigger picture it's about how can we together increase um, exceptional customer service in different locations globally I'd say you know me and my big vision so globally how can we all together uh, deliver exceptional customer service or help customers delivering even better customer service so 
if you've got an idea, if you've got a business and you're thinking you wanted to grow your business, somehow look at franchising. It's an amazing opportunity. Um, there's some franchise exhibitions as well going on a little bit everywhere. There's one in Paris at the end of March. There's another one in, um, in London in March with the British Franchise Association. Obviously Casablanca in April. So loads of things going on um, and if you need any more details, so if you want to chat to me about franchise or how I went about franchising my business, pin me an email, I'd love to talk to you. Um, I'm on contact at thebusyqueenbee.com. Thank you, bye for now.